to what degree truly am I living as a messenger of the heart, not the ego, not the personality, not conforming to the world's perceptions and beliefs. Have I stepped yet truly into being a messenger of the heart? It is a stage that awaits all of us because it means giving up our uses of time that have far more to do with the survival of the personality, conforming, making sure we're liked, nobody's disturbed, blah, 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 blah. And so he's also saying to each of you, as he did to me, as you become the messenger of the heart and share it, whether you teach someone love's breath, you're moved to become a facilitator of radical inquiry, you teach ecstatic dance, you begin to live this freedom, you expose it, you share it. As you do that, what you are doing is serving in others, their enlightenment begins or deepens. You become a vehicle through which light itself stirs something in another in the very same way that someone shared something that stirred you to give what you have received. Live the truth you know. Let's all take a deep breath. What is it I really know at this stage of my journey? Can I get in touch with it, own it, and become 100% devoted to living it no matter what? Live the truth you know, and you will know the freedom you seek. So I'll take a deep breath. Where have I compromised, sold out, denied, conformed with another's lesser consciousness to make sure that they still like me, and then wonder why I don't experience this quality of infinite freedom that gnaws at me, that keeps calling, that leaves me feeling like something's missing. Even as we unfold in our journey, we have illuminations, we have ahas. Do we honor that? Do we live it? Or does fear and simple habit of egoic living collapse us back and downward toward an old comfort zone? Do I keep delaying where in my life am I not living what I have, in fact, come to know? It would be well worth a period of inquiry, breath, dropping that pebble in, the seven times strategy, if you will, let it be shown. Invite the Holy Spirit. I'm living falsely in those moments. I'm denying and um, I'm not honoring the sun. I'm not even honoring my own heart or the fruits of my own seeking and how grace has met me to help me grow. And then I go right on with an old pattern. No wonder we lack peace and joy. And this next little sentence, much later he brought this home to me, and well, I won't go into it now, but holy moly, listen to these words. Wait on no one. Take a deep breath. Where do I wait for others? Who have I been waiting for to come with me, or at least 
smile and give me permission. Let me know that my journey isn't disturbing them. Who am I requiring to wear a cheerleading outfit and have pom-poms and root me on? When they do that, I'll get on with living the truth I know. It'll never work. It's all just one more delay. It serves not you nor anyone around you. So I'll take a deep breath. This is a lightning bolt to the depth of the ego's thought system. Live the truth you know, and you will know the freedom you seek. Wait on no one. But if I don't wait, I'll be all alone. And I don't know what will happen. Yeah, that's true. God alone knows. Mm-hmm.